What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Carnell, the Tech Savvy Rider. Today is 29 June, Friday afternoon, roughly about 5 o'clock or so. Temperature is averaging around 103 to 110. Uh, I want to apologize to each and every last one of you for not posting, uh, but uh, your boy had a near-death experience. And I'll tell y'all what happened. Stay tuned. GoPro, stop recording. A tech savvy rider implemented new technology to modify his 2015 GL 1800 Honda Gold Wing. That Gold Wing later became known as Black Flash, an extreme lighting show bike. What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy Carnell, the tech. Savvy rider. Hey, as I told y'all, I had a, I haven't been posting because I had a, a near death experience. Man, let me tell y'all what happened. Y'all know on the last video I talked about the, um, I bought a trailer uh, for my motorcycle, and what I did, I installed the trailer on the back of my truck. And I installed the wrong size ball uh, for my hitch. Connected the trailer, went down the street, came back up the street, and the trailer jackknifed on me. Trailer went one way, <laughs> and the truck went the other. As you can see, my truck is not here. The trailer had small damages. Let me try to show them to you. I got a little small dent in the front and I got a dent on the side where I patched it up with some tape. The trailer was not so bad. Truck, not so good. So I got the truck in the shop right now. I got the truck in the shop right now. Hopefully I can get it back tomorrow. Other than that, I just wanted to let y'all know what was going on why I haven't been posting. Uh, the other reason I haven't been posting this is because all my stuff that I ordered for the trailer for to connect the bike inside or to uh, strap down the bike inside, it just not start coming in. So in a minute here, I'm going to take y'all inside the trailer and show you all the stuff that came in. And my next couple of videos is going to be about uh, me installing the stuff inside the trailer. Um, the other thing that I did was, according to... Uh, net, the last thing I did was <laughs> I had the trailer and the bike connected and I drove the bike straight into the trailer now Jimmy is going to get on, on me for this one because he told me not to do it but because I bought a 7 by 16 foot trailer I figured that the bike and trailer would be able to roll straight into the trailer uh, being attached and yeah it fit <laughs> uh, but uh, the weight of the bike was on the tongue of the trailer instead of doing like Jimmy told me was to put the trailer in first and then have the weight of the bike over the dual, dual axle uh, wheels he said that's the way it's supposed to be done but now like I said I know Jimmy is gonna rip me a new one because I didn't do it that way so I'm guessing that's the second reason why uh, the trailer jackknifed on me but other than that hey, it's all good minor scratches on the on, on the van i mean on my truck minor scratches on the uh on the trailer two little small dents that i covered up uh but uh i know for a fact if i had been on the highway i would have lost everything so y'all stay tuned and i'll take y'all inside a minute to show you what i got gopro stop recording okay youtube I'm going to go inside the trailer and show y'all what came in so far. The wife is going to try to let the trailer down for me uh, while I hold the camera. You know, I'm being lazy and let her do all the labor work. All right. As you can see, I, I'm going to take y'all inside. And I put me a little bed and patio in here. I mean, a little bed so I can take it out and see how the, the heat was going to work out for me. I haven't actually installed anything yet. Uh, this is my e-tracks that came in. I got four eight-footers. Uh, since the truck is six, I mean, since the trailer is a sixteen-footer, 
this should be able to fit from front to back but I don't know if I'm gonna actually do it that way uh, I got my condor chalk block wheel chalk block it came in and uh, like I was telling y'all it was so freaking hot that I had to end up I installed me a, a air conditioner in the door here and I covered up the door and get some light on in here So it was so hot, man. The temperature is like 106 degrees outside. And uh, 106 degrees outside, and it'd be like 130 inside the trailer. So I had to come up with a way to try to uh, make it cool in here. Uh, throughout the day, there's no way I can work on the trailer because your boy just can't be out in the heat. Uh, as, you know, as I told y'all once before, uh, when it's over a certain amount, of, a certain degree, you know, like 85 and 90 and above, I try to stay inside because my skin just can't handle it. Uh, but um, now that I got me an air condition, you now this is temporary, a temporary setup. I got an air condition in the door. Uh, got me a fan in here. Got me some lights in here. And I'll probably start working on the trailer um, every day from this point on at uh, around 7 30 or 8 o'clock when it start getting cool and that way uh the sun is not as hot and i of course i got some time uh, now because uh, my government my government job has uh, contract has been terminated so this is giving me plenty of time to come out here and work on my trailer get it up and going and be ready uh speaking of my termination <laughs> man they put a real uh, ice cube Friday on me they fired me on my day off well I can't say fire they terminated me on my day off and uh, man you probably being honest with you I, I think I was more happy than anything uh, to to get from up there because it was just too hectic everybody know I wasn't I was not happy with it and I'm good to go now and I'm um, start working on my trailer cuz I got plenty of time uh, get ready for wing ding 40 uh, get the trailer ready got a lot to do and uh, like I said from this point on I'll be video recording everything that I do uh, to show y'all how I get this uh, trailer up and running um, my wife is gonna be helping me uh, she's in here with me now and yeah I know I'm sweating um, like I said say hello dear Hi. Uh, we're gonna get this trailer up and running so we can get uh, get ready for wing Dean 40 and like I said, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a lot of work to do, and I'm looking forward to it. Now that I got some time, uh, I'm looking forward to getting the trailer ready so I can go out and meet some of you guys. Other than that, hey, my next couple of videos will be about what I do inside this trailer and get it ready. So y'all stay tuned. Uh, that's my spiel for the day, YouTube. Y'all have a good one. GoPro, stop recording.